This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. Law enforcement across the state are conducting extra patrols searching for motorists not wearing their seat belts during the annual Click It or Ticket campaign. Moses Lake Police will look to retain their crown over the Grant County Sheriff's Office as the annual Battle of the Badge softball game returns June 4th. If certain state lawmakers have their way, then you might soon be getting taxed on the number of miles you drive every year. Australia softball hasn't made it to the state tournament since 2002. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Law enforcement across the state are conducting extra patrols searching for motorists not wearing their seat belts during the annual Click It or Ticket campaign. More than 130 law enforcement agencies are participating in the extra patrols that kicked off Monday and continue through June 2nd. According to the Washington Traffic Safety Commission, seatbelt use in the state sits at about 93 percent, higher than the national average, but this year's campaign is focused on young drivers. National statistics show among young adults ages 18 to 34 killed in crashes in 2017, more than half were not restrained, one of the highest percentages for all age groups. With seatbelt emphasis patrols focused on young adults, the Traffic Safety Commission says parents should make sure their teen drivers make it a habit to buckle up. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Change doesn't have to be complicated. With a low-profile microwave hood combination that's ready to install right out of the box. It fits in the same space as your under-cabinet hood, so you can get your microwave off the countertop and make space for the routines worth keeping. The Low Profile Microwave Hood Combination from the number one selling appliance brand in the USA. Whirlpool Appliances, now available at more furniture in Afreda. Moses Lake Police will look to retain their crown over the Grant County Sheriff's Office as the annual Battle of the Badge softball game returns June 4th. The annual event hosted by the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Columbia Basin will once again be held at the Larson Baseball Field at 2501 West Broadway Avenue. First pitch is scheduled for 6 p.m. and admission is free. Along with the always entertaining softball game, the event features in-between inning entertainment, family activities, face painting, and concessions will be open. Proceeds from the event benefit the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Columbia Basin. Moses Lake Police held on to defeat the Sheriff's Office in last year's friendly rivalry game. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Your taste buds bored? Well then bring them to Jay's Teriyaki. Not only does Jay's have a variety of teriyaki dishes, they also offer mouth-watering salads and sides. Call Jay's 509-764-5155. Jay's Teriyaki, located at 123 East Broadway in Moses Lake, because it's all in the sauce. If certain state lawmakers have their way, then you might soon be getting taxed on the number of miles you drive every year. With the popularity of hybrid and electric vehicles growing and Washington's continuing efforts to support their use, fewer people are filling up at the pump, which is translating into a deficiency in the state's gas tax revenues. The ongoing shortfall is occurring despite the state's current tax of 49 cents per gallon, which is the second highest in the nation. Drivers in Washington are also charged an additional 18 cents per gallon in federal taxes. Money from the taxation is used to maintain the infrastructure of Washington's road system, including its highways, bridges and ferries. The state has been considering a pay-per-mile tax structure for much of the current decade and recently went a step further in researching its potential implementation by signing up 2,000 motorists to take part in a year-long pilot program designed to track their use of the state's road network. The participants were provided with devices that interfaced with their car's operating system, which monitored their driving habits and miles driven. Neighboring Oregon has already instituted a program involving 5,000 of its driving residents, which charges them a per-mile tax in exchange for a credit on the state's fuel tax. Officials in Washington say the per-mile fee is planned to replace the state's gas tax, so drivers will not be charged both. The State Transportation Commission is currently in the process of organizing a pilot program similar to Oregon's, which could roll out as soon as next year. Reporting for iFiber One News, I'm Chris Hansen. Afraid softball hasn't made it to the state tournament since 2002. Last season, the Afraid Tigers were one game away from making it to state, but a loss against East Valley of Spokane ended their season just short from breaking that streak. 
After returning most of the team, the Tigers went on a tear, now finding themselves in the CWAC Championship. Last Saturday, the Tigers sat and waited in the semifinals to see who would advance. Sealer took advantage of home field to bump the Othello Huskies to the third place bracket 14-6, but then turned around and fell to the Tigers 10-4. The Tigers will take on East Valley of Yakima in the championship game. The winner of the game will advance to the state playoffs as a number one seed. The loser will then host a loser between West Valley of Spokane and Cheney or East Valley of Spokane, which will take place Tuesday night. Meanwhile, the Huskies will play Ellensburg for a shot at the third place game, where they'll face either Sela again or Prosser. The winner will travel to take on the GNL champs. The CWAC championship game and the third place game will both be at Carlin Park on Wednesday at 6 o'clock p.m. The championship game will be on field one and the third place game will be on field two. I'm Adam Chikoski, Fry Fiber One Sports. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.